Brooks has a huge change coming to every single one of its stability models. That is the elimination of the medial posting. That posting is the denser material that is usually around the heel to underneath the arch. It's not very comfortable, it's very outdated, and it's not for everybody. Brooks had already started phasing out the posting. The Transcend has been using guide rails for years, and the newly released Bedlam has guide rails as well. Running in the Bedlam, I found that the guide rails guided your foot if you needed them, but didn't intrude at all. The idea behind the guide rails are to work like little bumpers at a bowling alley. If you roll the ball straight, you won't need the guidance, but if you roll the ball off center, the bumpers will guide it back towards the center. That means if your foot starts rolling in too much, the guide rails will kind of guide it back into a centered position. So now that you know what the guide rails are and what they do, let's talk about the shoes that will be featuring them. First is the Brooks Ravenna 10. It has a slight guide rail stretching from the heel to a little over halfway. You'll notice that there's a small rail on the other side of the heel too. This is to help prevent the heel from flaring out and causing over rotation of the shin. Other than the midsole makeover, the upper gets redone and the outsole is slightly tweaked. But it will still be the responsive and supportive Ravenna like you know and love. Expect this guy in February of 2019. Moving up and cushion and support is the Adrenaline 19. This is a bold move for Brooks. They have been very cautious with changing this shoe over the years, but I think it's about time. The midsole of the old Adrenaline was very stiff and dated in my opinion. Like the Ravenna, the Adrenaline has the guide rails on both sides of the heel and along the medial side of the shoe. But the rail on the Adrenaline is slightly higher. This just means it'll be more like a bucket seat and add more guidance than the Ravenna. It adds the softer DNA loft foam in the heel, but retains the slightly firmer Biomogo DNA in the forefoot. The upper and outsole get some tweaks as well. This will be the first of Brooks' new guidance shoes hitting the market. Expect it around November 2018. The first Brooks shoe to get guide rails is getting complete makeover as well. The Transcend 6 adds the new rail system found in the Ravenna 10 and Adrenaline 19, but these rails will be higher than the Adrenaline. The shoe offers max guidance and max cushion by also featuring a full length DNA loft midsole like that found in the latest Glycerin. Again, there's going to be a new upper and new outsole on this guy, and there may be some weight gain as well. I don't know the official weights of these shoes quite yet. And look for this guy on shelves in January of 2019. If you haven't picked up on what Brooks does, it makes two versions of its shoes, one neutral and one stability. The Ravenna is the stability version of the launch. The Adrenaline is the stability version of the Ghost. The Transcend is the stability version of the Glycerin. The Bedlam of the Levitate and so on and so on. In the past, there were typically big differences between the neutral and the stability versions, but I feel like this year, that gap has shrunk quite a bit. I think these guide rails are going to be successful and more comfortable. I hope that more brands start getting rid of the medial posting. So as you can tell, big changes are coming to Brooks Stability Line, and I wanted to inform you more on the guide rail system and the new shoes that they will be featured on. I have a lot more videos and reviews coming up, so subscribe so you don't miss those, and as always, keep on running.